and welcome to Add More Zest. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 1.7. And we have tip number three today. Um, so this is my little tips and tricks series. I'm hoping that we get up to 100. We'll see how we go. Um, you may find that there'll be some tips and tricks that I've mentioned before. Some of them will be new to you, but hopefully this will be a nice quick reference for you. Um, but today's tip and trick is one that I've actually only found out quite recently and you may have seen me use them on a on a whip and chat. But many people now are liking to use an easel because it helps with the neck and shoulder ache and stuff. So you can have um, a diamond painting at an angle that stops you stooping as much. But whether you use an easel or not, you may well use a light pad. Now, if I was doing the bottom section of this painting, I'd be perfectly fine just popping the painting down on the light pad. Come to do the top part of the painting, and, you know, if I'm not there to stop it, it just keeps falling. So this was something that was mentioned to me by a subscriber is there's these little things called quilt clips. Now, I did used to just use the likes of a binder clip, a bigger one than this, but I used a binder clip. Now, the only thing is with the binder clips is they have angles on both sides. So it did tend to lift up my easel a little bit and potentially could scratch my easel and stuff. These quilt clips are a game changer. Now, they are small. My light pad is a wireless one from um, Huion, Hawaiian, I don't know. I don't know how they pronounce it, but it is quite a thick one compared to most light pads. So if you have a thinner light pad, you know, this will still work even better for you. Um, but even on the thick light pad, if I put my painting at the top and use the clip, Considering how small that clip is, it stays there. And if I pop one the other side as well, now the benefit is the back is flat. Yes, it does have a little bit for the actual edge of the clip, but in general, it will lie flat and let you move it about. But it takes a lot to pull that off. Um, it takes even more with a small light pad. In fact, it's it wasn't even on the canvas. It was on the clear plastic. If I put it on the canvas and pull, that took quite a lot of pulling. You sort of have to believe me. It's hard on video. Um, it takes quite a lot of pulling to get it off. Now, I have used these, these clips with a 50 by 40 by 50 where I'm clipping it because I'm working on the top and all the bottom has diamonds on it. So it's pretty chunky on the bottom. It's a lot heavier than, than a painting you've not yet worked on. I did put three on only because of the length because it did hang over the side. So I did use three of these little clips and you can get some bigger, but I must say, I don't want to use anything else now to hold the painting. It has some really good grip. Um, it doesn't matter when you're working on it. Do you know what I mean? So you're working on it. If you were sliding a diamond about because it put it in the wrong place, it will still keep hold. And they tend to come in a, in a lot of packs. So this is 50 piece, multi-purpose, and then it says SE dot 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 hanging little things <laughs> which I think is quite cute that's what it says on the label um, I will pop a link to them on the website so the, the links down the details are down here admorezest.com I will put a link in the our favourites section under tools just so that you can either see what they look like or see the exact ones that I purchased I've seen people purchase them in cute little tins and there's loads of different varieties available, but the link's there if you want to know 
what you're looking for but they're primarily called quilting clips and they're used by quilters but oh they're, they're so much better than those big bulky binder clips they come in lots of funky colors I tend to use the clear ones but you could use whatever colour suits your mood or maybe what suits your painting. Uh, maybe I could you know, choose to use orangey red ones for my fox painting. You can vary it up however you want. But yeah, that is tip and trick number three. Get yourself some quilting clips to help your diamond painting stay on your light pad. You can also use these if you... For example, if you had a very large diamond painting and you needed to roll it up, these are also quite small. I mean, I've, they're so quite small. Don't get too much in the way um, to be able to clip it up while you work on another section. Maybe you could do a bit of both. So maybe you need to clip it to your light pad, but you also don't want... The remainder of the painting hanging down okay we'll just send that one over there um maybe you don't want the rest of your diamond painting hanging down while you're working on it depends on the size of course um but yeah enjoy these little quilting clips if you've not encountered them before stay tuned many many more tips and tricks to come but thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon